Good morning. Here in Bung Vieng. Been here for about five days now with Martin. Martin's friend, Dan. See him in a second. He also joined us here. Surprise, surprise, surprise. But uh, we just got up this morning. I went to the, the morning market here in Bung Vieng yesterday and saw some interesting things so I wanted to film those and I haven't filmed anything here yet it's been a very interesting man I was dark as hell very interesting last couple days kind of lost my job like a couple days ago well they're just like we're rotating teachers that's how they do it usually with these business contracts and they don't have hours for me which anyway it's another story it's two weeks before Christmas so I'm gonna take this opportunity to just film and do what I really want to be doing out here exploring and filming Lao making memories enjoying every second here because man you just never know with life like jobs and all that stuff you don't never know how they're gonna work out and how much time you have somewhere so here we are, and I'm gonna film a bunch. I think the next couple days, Martin's been a little bit sick. So I'll film while he recovers, and then probably head up north, apply for jobs, and do interviews online, hopefully. If I need to, go back to Tien to do interviews, but other than that, the plan is to just travel. What kind of flowers are these? Orgovillia. Pretty incredible what they got going on here. Nice picture. Very similar to the uh... So you actually, this is where they take the, you can go down and catch the boat ride, which I think fun for older folks, but for me it's pretty boring. Just sit in the boat up and down the river. I'd rather walk or swim or something. Still, it's very beautiful going up and down, for sure. Let's see how this holds up when I watch this video 5, 10, 15 years from now. But uh, we've discussed multiple times, me and Dan and Martin, how you just don't find a place with so much nature and things to do we're so cheap like this like you can rent these buggies for i think up to seven eight hours for like 60 bucks 70 bucks you can rent a bicycle for two dollars a day three to three dollars a day you can rent a motorcycle for a couple bucks it's just and then it's like going to an amusement park but nature amusement park right all around nearby so you just jump on whatever your mode of transportation wouldn't recommend walking because you are going down country roads that are pretty busy now with so many tourists coming out here uh yeah and head out to the destinations they're all over the, the different blue lagoons the caves we've explored uh it's all just out there and it's bicycle distance you can definitely ride your bicycle you should probably consider being a little bit in shape or do a little bit of exercise consistently before trying to do that because the lagoons and different caves and stuff they are you know 5 10 15 miles out there so you're gonna have to ride a bit or a motorcycle or a dune buggy so I think I might plus they have hot they have the hot air balloons so there's a lot for me to film so I, love, I want to film the hot air balloons coming down that scenery with the hot air balloons and the paramotors is incredible for now we get our walk on in this sleepy morning city this is Vang Vien is so much different than other Lao cities I've been to so far the mornings are quiet and it's very much oriented to 
tourists because it's popping, it's lively, lots of people out, plenty of food on hand and everything else that you can think of at night, late into the night. But nothing going on in the morning. Strange. Usually in a Lao town it would be busy. People cooking everywhere, people out and about doing stuff. The day's started, but not here. It's different. Interesting place. We're just walking up on the morning market here. So I'm preparing my eyes. The things that I do want to film, it's always a little weird when you put the camera on pe people that be like, what's this? Because it's new to you, but speak Lao and uh, hopefully figure out what some of these jungle critters are that I've seen here. Hey, I bought fish here yesterday. Keep walking while he's taking pictures. I didn't bring my backpack though. I still have fruit from yesterday, so I think I will just buy some meat today. Just buy some protein for breakfast. <clears throat> I've shown this flower many times, but it's quite bitter. They'll eat it with we eat it with the sauce. Spicy sauce, chow. Or you can use it and you stuff it with pork and make a dish out of that called uh, Kodal Pan. to the market but we haven't seen anything yet <laughs> yeah let's keep walking and I'll wait for him where there's some more interesting things Dry fish? Yeah. Ah. Did you see all the frogs over there that were in the pile? <laughs> oh, I love this stuff. Oh, yeah. Those are delicious. That's some Phnom Kok. Always delicious. Oh, the classic. Badag. Looks like you even got the fish in the banag. Now you're talking. <laughs> oh. Dab. If everybody isn't familiar, if you want to have the best somtam, the best papaya salad, best tamahung, you have to put banag, okay? It's necessary. It's the key ingredient. Oh, Lord, Lord. 
We've got bats. Bats, bats, bats. I really like this place, so we're gonna film it. The outside is awesome. I don't know I, the ins about the inside. I was looking at the building and it's built on massive stilts yesterday when I was looking at it, so I wanna check it out again. I was looking at this building yesterday and it looks like it's on huge stilts, so I wanna see, it was dark last night. Oh Lord. <laughs> yeah, so we're on like the side of a hill these little bungalows are just overlooking the mountains and the jungle. No, it has a hippie vibe, I guess. Kind of like it. A lot of places have that hippie vibe here. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks like it's got a beautiful view. I don't know. They might have coffee, though. Looks like they got cheap coffee. So we can have a sit here. Yeah, I Hey, see, that's the kind of price I'm looking for for coffee. 10, 15,000. All right, let's do it. Let's sit here. I like it. I really like it. This is sick. Hello, friendly butch. Hello. Dogs here are so friendly. They're always so friendly and loud, don't you think? I don't, I don't really have many experiences with dogs trying to nip at me here like they do in Thailand. They're always trying to... Damn soy dogs get, trying to get you in Thailand. This is... They're hungry, man. Those dogs are not mean. They're just hungry. Those soy dogs. So they got beautiful little pictures here. Hey, man. This is a sweet little right. spot. Look at the bungalows. The bungalows down here is... Look at them. Beautiful. Look at the hammock. What's that made out of? It's like, uh, it's like a, uh, rattan. That is cool. That is cool. Usually you see like, like the woven. Bamboo, probably like bamboo, um, like skeleton, and then woven through. I want a, I, I want a hammock in my place. I have a big bamboo grove in front of my house, and I can put up a hammock. Uh -huh. There's a table and chairs. I don't, I don't have a hammock. All right, let's get a coffee. And then we'll keep exploring. got very much distracted by this beautiful view probably guest houses down here not locals actually but oof, we're gonna actually find out let's see and uh just had a little coffee I'm going to continue this adventure this morning it's very cheap back to the morning market right outside <laughs> We're back to the bats. Oh, she put the bats in the bag. She's cleaning up. Oh no, we might have missed everything. But well, we can come back. We can come back. I mostly wanted to film down here to ask what these critters were I saw yesterday, if they even had one. Those are some nice looking squash. there. I gotta wait for Dan because <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Interesting. Let's see what she says they are. What did you find? Some kind of homemade bomb. Can you ask Maybe. me about this? I'll just read it. Let's see what she says. So we're reading this here. It 
to see what it is for him. Nam Yan Yang. Yeah, you can put it on like wounds and Yeah, strip your skin and But it just says it's a, it just says it's an oil, but I don't know made from what. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You're gonna ask her what it's made from. เอ่อเฮ็ดเพิ่นเฮ็ดใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่ใส่
yeah, I just like to see those. And I'd love to be out in the jungle and see them in real life, to be honest. So maybe that's a future adventure. We'll see. We got beignets here. Yeah, they got it all right here for breakfast. Got mm -hmm. a down pat burgers, sandwiches. All the coffee, all the coffee little treats to eat your coffee. All right, that's it for the morning market. I'm starving. Well, we gotta get some, um... I didn't even buy anything. I need some meat. <laughs> some brekkie, grilled sweet potato, and grilled fish. What is it, like 10,000 10, for the grilled sweet potato each one? So that's like 50 cents. And the fish is $1.75, 30,000. Not bad for breakfast. The sweet potatoes, absolutely incredible grilled.